Hey, this is Rodney G of the Pigeon Academy Show. We're going to be bringing you today a special on how to start and finish in your molting season. The purpose of this video today is to get us prepared for the breeding season. And we understand here at the Pigeon Academy how critical it is to be prepared for the breeding season. Um, a lot of the racers are going to be uh, starting their, their breeding cycles in December by pairing up their birds. And this is some good information on how to have a strong molting season so you can have a very successful breeding season. Because the two go and ha work hand in hand. And we want you, the fans here, to be prepared by breeding some better birds. This is some great information for beginner and intermediate races. We hope you enjoy. Okay, welcome to this episode of the Pigeon Academy show. We're going to be covering how to deal with the molt, how to start the molt, and how to finish it off. It's critical that um, you do a, a good feeding and care program for your pigeons, mainly your racing pigeons. This is good for beginners and intermediate racers. This is how you want to prepare your birds to go into the breeding season. Without the, pepper, the proper preparation for breeding season, your birds are going to use up a lot of their nutrition in their body. You have to make sure they get the right vitamin care, and you don't want to go into the breeding season with poor care. Now there's a lot of noise in the background here. This is actually a, a work area, so we're going to start right here. And we're going to start with the care for your feeding. This is twice a day. You'll be using garlic oil and Be Pure, which will give them the vitamins and the oils that they're going to need. So you're going to start off two days pretty much during the week which will pretty be, let's say, Sunday and Wednesday. You would mix some garlic oil and be pure, which is great in oils and vitamins. You would mix that into the feed, and that birds would get the proper nutrition. For their water during the week, you're going to be working with a couple of products. You're going to be working with the Herbalon on Saturdays and Wednesdays in the water which is going to give your birds excellent care. You're going to be working with the Combine Tea Mondays and Tuesdays, which is going to give settle your birds down, ease their nerves. And then you're going to be working with the Bee Coil on Thursdays and Fridays. And this is a simple program. You want to make sure that your birds get the proper nutrition for their, their, their feeding care. This pertains to their food and their water. Again, you're going to work with the garlic oil and the bee pure twice a week in the feed. And then you're going to be working on different days with your combine tea, your bee coil, and of course your herbalon. You definitely want to be bringing in this product for your baths during the molt. This is going to give your bird great, great plumage. It's going to relax their muscles going to help with the flaking. This is the ideal bath salt. I recommend going two to three baths with the salts during the week, during the molting, and it's going to take care of your care. Now let's move into the feeds, and it's important that you feed them the right feeds during this period. Now you want to start the season off. We got two feeds here. You want to start them off with the mutine. This is going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a lot of small grains. It's a very good mix. It's designed for that molten season. And you want to start them off. You can see the pigeon actually molting in this picture here. And this is what you want to start them off with. You want to be able to mix all of that garlic oil, that bee pure, into this grains and get those nutritions into their system. This is what you want to finish off the malt with, the Depure. Outstanding Versalaga products, IC Plus products, and these are the two items that you want to be working with. The Mutine, the Mutine, 
to start off with and the Depure to finish off your molten season. This is some good information for beginner and intermediate care, starting and finishing off the molt. You're going to see a part two of this video, which goes right into the breeding season. But again, it's critical that you have the proper care for your pigeons during and finishing off the molten season. Again, we at United Feed Company. You can see all the beautiful products here. We're going to put the address up. and This is our primary uh, pigeon supply here in the Bronx, New York. They do ship. They do deliver. And it's nothing but products up in here. This is my, this is my pet shop where I come and buy all my feeds and all my supplies. They gave us the courtesy to come in today and work with their products. We'll be back for part two, which is showing you the products that you want to get before the breeding season actually starts and during your breeding season so you can raise nice, healthy babies. This information is, again, mainly for the racing pigeon community, but you can use these products for your great care for your other pigeons, but you got to be able to read the, always say, read the instructions, read the directions, use it with discretion. If they don't have these supplies in your local pet shop, give me a call. There's a plethora of products that you could substitute, and if you have any doubt, give me, Rodney G, a call at 347-299-1480. And this has been Molten Care at the Pigeon Academy. Rodney G.